Sam decided not to show you guys because he wants it to be a surprise. <laughs> There's been so much drama with the wedding dress. My original dress got destroyed in alterations and we just got them embroidered with the browns. There's so much smoke. Hello! So it's one week almost, one week and a day to the wedding. Cam's not paying attention. But we are going to do some errands, pre-wedding errands. The past week I feel like we've done a lot of uh, done a lot of work. Yeah, we've both been working like crazy a lot, a lot of hours. Um, and yeah, there's lots of stuff to get done. Yesterday, got my eyebrows threaded. The day before, I got my hair done. So we're getting like the beauty part of things completed. Um, but today, we're going to pick up Cam's suit, which is very exciting. He had it custom made and then like altered a little bit to fit a bit better. So we'll be able to see kind of what that looks like. And then I also have to do a bunch of returns. Um, this is kind of a story for another time, but I had some really fun wedding dress issues and I currently have like at my feet, I have a lot of uh, returns. Basically I've purchased like about a thousand wedding dresses, it feels like. There's been so much drama with the wedding dress. My original dress got destroyed in alterations and then I got a second dress. The alterations, like amazing, amazing woman who fixed it um, and made it a little bit shorter for me, but like something weird happened. I don't know if it's my body or like was just an off day with measurements or whatever, but one side was longer than the other. So then I like had a panic. She was away for the weekend and like I was freaking out about it. And then yeah, it's, it's getting fixed. It will be fixed by tomorrow. It's probably fixed already, but I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. In the meantime, I purchased three other dresses because, you know, obviously you need to have something to wear on your wedding day. Um, and so now that I don't need them, I'm going to return them, which is also great because none of them were like quite right. And I really do like the second dress that I picked. So got to return all of that stuff as well. I have library books from pre-pandemic that I have to return. <laughs> um, those are probably very overdue. And then I have to pick up lip gloss yes i have to pick up lip gloss uh we will I'll, I'll show you guys again once we get to the suit store so one other thing about this week is that there's so much smoke i don't know if you can see that but it is like america is on fire unfortunately i hope everyone is safe and like nothing's too crazy but yeah, it's really like the past couple of days it's gotten so, so smoky around here. We picked up the suit, we got a tie. Cam decided not to show you guys because he wants it to be a surprise. <laughs> you guys will see in the wedding photos. <laughs> Just had to go to Granville Island and we're picking up some face masks that we got embroidered for everybody as like their wedding favors. <laughs> Vancouver, the Kale Caesar from Heirloom is like literally my favorite. We just stopped to have a little bit of a break, um, get some food in us, and now we continue with all of the chore. Just to turn this up at Nordstrom. Now we're going to Pacific Center. Return my Ritzy addresses. So these are my favorite masks. We just get them from Staples and they come in like a 10 pack. They're like the most affordable ones that I've found as well. And we just got them embroidered with the browns. So we have a whole bunch. We have them for everybody who's invited to the wedding. And then also for like the photographer and officiant and all that stuff. Today is Sunday now. It's officially only one week to the wedding, which is crazy. I can't believe it. Um, it's happened so quickly. 
So I'm here, I mentioned a little bit about my dress yesterday, I'm here to pick it up again, and I also got like a little jacket yesterday, I can't remember if I, I told you, I know I didn't show you because I don't want it to, I want it to be a surprise, you know, I don't want to ruin that. Um, I got a little jacket because the weather's been like a little bit chilly, September can kind of either be like super beautiful and hot in Van, or it can be just like feeling like fall and on our wedding day honestly I haven't checked again but it did say that it might rain um and I definitely know you know like just from how it's been the past few days I feel like it might be a little bit on the cooler side my dress is like a tank top you know like tank top straps I don't know my dress isn't a tank top um so yeah I just don't want to be like freezing my butt off the whole <laughs> the whole evening the whole afternoon standing outside in the rain in like a tiny little dress so yeah I decided that I wanted a, a jacket. Um, I did have a different jacket, but then when I kept trying it on, like because my dress changed, I don't know, I didn't like it as much with this new one. But I think I'm gonna like this jacket. If not, I guess I'm just like out of luck because we're cutting it really close here. But then I'm gonna also have brunch with my maid of honor. So I'm really excited to see her. Um, feels like I haven't seen anyone in a really long time, which sucks. I've just been so freaking busy. Um, this morning, I honestly woke up. I know it's Sunday. I knew that I had plans with Sierra. I had in my calendar to come do this dress fitting. But yet still, I woke up fully convinced it was Monday, uh, walked Pepper like I normally would, made coffee like I normally would, got dressed like I normally would and ready for work, sat down in front of my computer, responded to emails for like half an hour, and then realized no one else was online, and then realized it was Sunday. So that's kind of like mentally where I'm at right now. Just a lot of stuff going on, obviously. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Um, well, I need to run inside or else I'm going to be late for this, but I will check in with you guys after when I'm having brunch with Sierra and let you know how it went. You guys are going to laugh. I literally ate this yesterday and I was saying it's the best kale Caesar. It is. Just back here again with Sierra. <laughs> so we had a very Vancouver morning. We went to Heirloom. I my breakfast wasn't vegan, but yours was. I think so. Yeah. Um, best restaurant ever. And now we're gonna taste test two different kombuchas. Oh, can you see the will it focus? There we go. Um, this one is watermelon. Wonder. So this is like I feel the most popular brand of kombucha. This is the first one I ever had. We have it everywhere. Yeah, Target. And then this. Maybe different, maybe new branding. For Rise. The Rise. Which well. also is popular. In Vancouver. And only has... Four one, calories. Four calories. One, one gram, gram of sugar. sugar. This is 70 cal in comparison. I think this is more liquid volume also. No, oh, 480. 414. Oh. Um, we are trying these because this other lady that I follow, Serena... What's her last name? I'm I want to say that. I don't, want to say. <laughs> um, I don't know. From uh, whatever, I'll put domesticate it, me. I'll put it. Uh, I'll put it down on in the comments so you can find her. <laughs> but she said that this one tastes like watermelon sour patch kids, which I that's not even a flavor of sour patch kids, is it? I think in the states. So I can't believe it, but we only have like a couple more days left to the wedding. It's really crazy. It's coming up so quickly here. Um, I think that we have like almost everything organized. Um, and I really just wanted to come on here and kind of wrap things up and let you know what I've been up to over the past couple of days. Uh, really, we've just been talking to our day of coordinator, talking to the venue, paying more vendors. Um, today, we like changed a couple of things that we're renting from our rental company. Um, really, it's just been like tying up all the loose ends, sending a lot of like payments over. Um, I just got the schedule right now for what's happening the day of. Everything's like finalized, what time hair and makeup is coming, what time we're going to be like done and ready, um, what time all of the vendors are coming to deliver different things to our venue. Like we really don't have a lot of crazy stuff happening, but there is someone coming to like set up lights, there's someone to com coming to set up our arch like flowers um obviously food and everything 
Oh my gosh, actually, we need to confirm the food still and pay for the food. Oh, one more thing on my list that is not done. Um, I have also been doing like a little bit of crafting over the past couple of days. I wanted to make this sweater. Um, you may know my last name is Young. You may know a different spelling of it than this. This is the official way that I actually spell my name, but I wanted to have like some kind of nod to my bachelorette that never happened. I was planning on getting everybody like little baseball hats embroidered with Forever Young when we were going to go to Vegas for my bachelorette before, you know, 2020 happened. Uh, so I wanted to like do something funny. I don't really know. I guess maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. Maybe I'll wear it like when I'm getting ready. Um, but I just like I felt like having something to take a cute photo in that had my last name on it. Um, and I've always like joked about how the song Forever Young and like that I'm always gonna have that last name and now, you know, I'm gonna have a new last name in addition to my last name. So anyways, wanted to make a sweater. I just ironed on some letters. Uh, I also sewed a scrunchie out of the like excess fabric that came off of my wedding dress during the alterations. So I can have something to put in my hair kind of like whatever, I don't know. I'm wearing extensions on my wedding day, so probably won't be using it that day, but like maybe later on. I feel like it's just like a nice memento to have anyways. But I guess that is kind of it. And the next time that I chat with all of you, I'm gonna be married, which is crazy. So I hope that all of you have a really fantastic weekend. I'm probably gonna have like one of the best weekends of my life. I'm really excited. I have friends who just got into Vancouver today that I am gonna go meet up with in a couple of minutes once I'm done here. And I also have like family and stuff coming in over the next couple of days and I can't wait to see everybody. Can't wait to marry the love of my life on Sunday. So if you are watching this on Sunday, you know, it might already have happened. But I will see all of you next week for another new video. We're going on our honeymoon next week. We're going to Tofino. So I'm going to be, of course, filming that as we go. And I will bring you guys along in this type of a vlog style video as well. I hope you guys are enjoying it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!